Hello, I'm Kevin Hunter, and I'm here to share with you today why Carfax is not the car Bible. If you spend any amount of time browsing the web, watching TV commercials, reading the paper or car magazines, you've likely seen the car Fox. That little smirk on his face is supposed to reassure you that his Carfax can give you a worry-free buying experience because a Carfax, after all, is supposed to tell you everything you ever want to know about a car. Is this right? Actually, it's wrong. Many car buyers have been misled into thinking that Carfax is the car Bible. And while it's certainly a useful tool to car buyers, there are several reasons why Carfax reports are missing a ton of information about vehicle history. The problem is, is that Carfax is only as good as the sources that send them information. Here are the three primary ones, state title agencies, police reports, and repair shops. State title agencies will send Carfax the owner history and report branded titles like salvage titles, fire damage, and water damage. The police reports inform them of accidents or theft, and repair shops generally handle everything else. But what happens in real practice? State title reports are generally good, but many states like Mississippi and Texas, for example, have loopholes in their state law that allow what is known as title scrubbing or title washing. Things like flood damage, fire damage, accidents, everything, they can all just disappear. This means that while Carfax can often tell you if there is a branded title, as long as it gets reported, there are plenty of chances that it gets missed entirely. The state DMV offices also report mileage, but that happens sporadically. Some state DMV offices don't do it at all, so you can't rely on what you find for mileage-related events. Oftentimes, a red flag on a Carfax report pertaining to mileage is due to a mistake on the report itself and has nothing to do with vehicle history. The reporting from police and repair shops is even more susceptible to mistakes, relying on a big helping of luck and cleverness and often falling victim to good old-fashioned human error. Add in the possibility that it's pouring down rain that day or the snow is falling from the sky or 40 below zero outside, all great conditions for an accident, but great conditions to create a police officer who doesn't have that much interest in details. There's also a difference between which police department reports it. For example, if someone gets in an accident on Highway I-5 in the state of Washington and the Washington State Patrol shows up, well, you can be pretty sure that accident will find its way to Carfax. However, if the same accident happens in a small town and the local police department department shows up, your guess is as good as mine as to whether that gets reported or not. Sometimes departments have been known to hold a report for a significant amount of time, even years. And this is how it happens that you buy a car with a clean title only to discover when you try to sell it that an accident shows up on the report and it was two years before you bought it. Talk about frustrating. While it's true that you can't blame Carfax for this type of error, you need to be aware that it happens more often than anyone wants to admit. There are also several problems with reports being incorrectly categorized by Carfax. For example, if the report Carfax receives from a repair shop says something like vehicle serviced, front bumper, lower fascia, headlights, and grill replaced. Well, if the information doesn't specifically say accident reported, Carfax will report this as a repair, not an accident. You are led to believe that something was just being fixed on the car instead of it being in a real life fender bender. Of course, there's also the problem with a huge number of accidents that go completely unreported. If you run your car in, in the middle of the night and wrap it around a tree, you tow it home and fix it with the help of some friends, or you talk to a friend or a buddy who owns a repair shop, who will ever know that the car was wrecked? Well, certainly not Carfax. This brings us to the last part, repair shops. Many large shops, dealerships included, report their repairs to Carfax for ease of record keeping. Some will send over an itemized list of what was repaired. Some will only say that the vehicle is in the shop. Some smaller shops don't report anything. This means you cannot rely on Carfax history to determine if a car was properly maintained or not. And oil changes? <laughs> That's one of the biggest laughs I get out of people thinking that every nut, bolt, and quart of oil is ever reported on their Carfax. Carfax actually perpetrates this idea with advertising like you see here, but it's mostly nonsense. Well, what can you do? Well, there's a couple of things I recommend. First of all, there's another comparable company out there to Carfax called AutoCheck. They have the same flaws as Carfax, but they often have information that Carfax does not. Combine the two reports and you get a little closer to the whole picture. However, as I've already said, both Carfax and AutoCheck are pretty clever, but the reports are far from perfect. Any smart car buyer should be thinking about bringing a used car to a mechanic you trust and have them give it an inspection first. 
If you're like me and you have friends in the body shop business too, we'll have them take a look at it as well. The trained eye of credible professionals will beat any report, any day, no matter where the report comes from. If you think I did a great job of helping you better understand Carfax and AutoCheck, smack that like button down below and leave us a comment or question as well. We check back frequently and we'll be glad to help you out. Remember to subscribe for updates. Until next time, I'm Kevin Hunter. Thanks for watching.